We're now approaching Upper Canada College, which is one of the most historic private schools in Canada. It was founded in 1829, and um, it still is a venerable institution right here in Toronto. Uh, you can see on this side, there is sort of a sports field, lots of sports going on, arts, music, and different activities at Upper Canada College. Um, now, Upper Canada College is obviously very exclusive. I couldn't really tell you how much the tuition is, but it is a very, uh, very expensive school. About 15,000. Uh, yeah, probably I would ima even imagine more than 15,000, but something I can definitely look up. And it has actually some famous, um, famous alumni. It's a boys' school only. Let me film through the roof here. One of the most famous and uh, embroiled in a big scandal right now is actually Conrad Black, who is currently uh, who was already tried and convicted in Chicago. And um, he's the former chief of Hollinger Inc. Other people include, let me see here, the Eaton family, Michael Ignatieff, who is actually very well known in Canada because he plays a critical role in the uh, Liberal Party, Ted Rogers. Definitely one of Canada's most uh, wealthy individuals. Apparently, he's Canada's ninth uh, wealthiest man, and he uh, runs uh, Rogers uh, Communications and uh, has a few years ago purchased the Sky Dome and renamed it Rogers Center. Rogers Cable is omnipresent uh, wherever you go. Some of the other folks that have gone to school here are. Um, David uh, Thompson, the third Baron Thompson of Fleet, Canada's wealthiest man and the sixth wealthiest man in the world. And he's the uh, chairman of Thompson Corporation. And uh, the late Kenneth Thompson, who is the second Baron Thompson of Fleet, who was formerly Canada's wealthiest man. So, as you can see, I mean, this is really blue blood Toronto right here. Let me give you a view over here. This is also part of Upper Canada College. The website is ucc.on.ca. So you can see Toronto is a, a real mixture, obviously, of established um, sort of blue blood um, wealthy families that go back, you know, 150 years in Toronto. And of course, the other Toronto, which is the new Toronto that is today mostly compo uh, composed of immigrants coming from all over the world that are putting a lot of hope into uh, into this city and the new future. So you've got a mixture of the old and new, a mixture of the wealthy and uh, the not so wealthy. Uh, but for that reason alone, uh, Toronto is a very, very fascinating city.